Ryan, um, explain to us why would we dispute any leads that are coming in? If I go to dispute this lead, for example, see these? These are all the reasons. Job not served, meaning it's not one of those job types that we just walk through with you. If you get any rental leads or anything like that, you know that you don't pay for them because okay. you, because we're not we're not paying for those kind of leads. So location not served. That's why it's important that you know what your areas are that this, this ad's running so you know whether or not we can dispute the lead or not. Okay, if it's a wrong number or sales call, obviously spam, or if it's a duplicate lead or a customer that contacted you twice. So these are all okay. these are all reasons for you know why we should dispute a lead. Does that make sense? So on this on this page, I went ahead and put in her email address that she gave to me this morning, but I never asked her if I could use it for a Google. Do I have to you. call her or text her? Yeah, what, what I would do is, yes, I would call or text and say, hey, is it okay if I send over a request for a review from you? As long as you have that, then you tick that box and that is, we're golden. If you go to booked, if you go to, instead of archiving where you're disputing and you go to book, then this new screen will show up. And this is why on all these calls, we really love it when you ask them if in the future that you can, you can follow up with them with an email for a review request because we legally are not able to actually send a review request via this platform until you guys have verified that on, the, on a call with them. Does that make sense? What is the difference already completed versus, versus upcoming? Okay. So if it's already completed, it just means that you've already, you've already had a meeting with them. You've already booked an appointment and you've already had that meeting with them versus if you've, um, if you've scheduled like a, a time to go show them properties or something like that. Now, eventually in real estate, I know you guys have a lot of different meetings with people, but once you've had that first meeting, I would just put them through as booked. And, and in other words, you know, you've had an upcoming coming meeting, you've already had it it's completed and then i would just move them to complete it after you have that first meeting does that make sense yes so what if okay. we aren't going to have a meeting with them until a month from now do we book them right yes yeah. so what what you do or is you mark them the dates yeah upcoming yep just like that yeah okay yes and then once we have somebody and it's a valid lead and we're working with them and we huh? sent, we sent an email of some houses to buy then we yep. hit book. book. One of the things that Google's looking at is it's looking at your booking rate and we want to keep that booking rate as high as possible. Um, and they say they, they, they calculate it or they figure it out based on artificial intelligence and listening to the calls. See, we want that booking rate to be as high as possible. The closer to hundred percent, the better. Um, and you know, I mean, what's what's great as you can see there, and I showed you, is that you guys are only paying twenty seven sixteen for each qualified phone call. Okay. I mean, so you know, it's you know, all it takes is one to pay for three or four months of this. You know, I mean, um, that's going to come through, and this this is actually there's your listing right there. Oh, all right, Isn't cool. That cool?